Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So let me show you today what is the difference between the free RSS feed generator plugins that I created. So yes, I have made free RSS feed generator plugins so far. And in this video, I will talk about what is the difference between them and which uh, scenario suits which plugin. So if you want to use a plugin of these three in a specific scenario, we'll know which one suits it the best. So let us get started with Echo RSS feed generator. So this plugin generates uh, an RSS feed based on posts that are on your website. So if you have a WordPress website, which hosts many many posts and you wish to generate a custom rss feed for it uh, for example you want to list just posts that are in a specific category or you wouldn't wish to list just posts with a specific tag or anything else that you can think of so this plugin uh, generates an rss feed for custom uh, filters for posts that are published on your WordPress website. So this is the first one. Uh, besides this, this can also import any RSS feed to your WordPress site as posts. So this is another feature of this plugin, but it is also an RSS feed generator. Okay, the next plugin that I wish to show you is URL to RSS. This is a custom curated RSS feed generator. This means that uh, let's say you want to crawl TechCrunch or you want to crawl another site that does not have an RSS feed on it and you will set up this plugin and it will crawl each and every article that fits the crawling category and restrictions that you set in the plugin settings and it will generate a custom RSS feed based on this uh, uh, crawling uh, uh, rule that you created. So this plugin will create an RSS feed for any website from the internet, even which don't have a valid RSS feed and it will publish it on your site. So you can crawl other sites, import posts, but not publish the posts on your site, but create a custom curated RSS feed from uh, the crawl post on your site using this plugin. And the third plugin and last that I wish to talk about tonight is RSS Transmute. This is also a custom RSS feed generator plugin. However, this will take uh, any other already made RSS feed. So it will take the RSS feed of TechCrunch, for example, and it will be able to edit it. So you will be able to run regex on the uh, RSS feed from TechCrunch. You will be able to uh, add uh, custom, um, for example, sentences in the RSS feed. You can add random sentences also in the RSS feed. So this is a RSS feed editor. This will take uh, RSS feeds that are already existing on your page on or other pages on any other page. This will be able to take it and to process it and to edit it and republish it on your site. So another uh, interesting use case where this plugin can be used is if you have an RSS feed with products that you are an affiliate of, this uh, plugin can take the RSS feed with products from a website, add your uh, affiliate URL to the affiliate URL parameter to the uh, links imported from the RSS feed and republish it on your site as an RSS feed ready made with your affiliate uh, tracking ID added to the URLs automatically. And this will automatically recrawl the RSS feeds and re import them periodically. So if the source website updates their RSS feed, your website will also update the custom curate the custom RSS feed which has your affiliate tracking uh, URL in it and it is also useful. So these are the free use cases of the free plugins that I show you. I will link all three in this video's description so please go and check them out. Echo RSS, remember, this will 
uh, generate RSS feeds from posts that are published on your website. It can also generate custom RSS feeds that list only posts in a specific category with a specific tag, with a specific custom uh, uh, taxonomy or anything else. URL to RSS will crawl other websites and uh, generate RSS feeds uh, by crawling other website posts and content. Also products or anything else can be crawled. And RSS Transmute will take other RSS feeds from other websites, for example, or your own RSS feeds, process them, edit them and publish them on your website. So these are the main free plugins. Here are also, they are installed. Echo RSS Feed Post Generator, uh, Custom Curated RSS Feeds, this is the uh, URL to RSS plugin and the RSS Transmute plugin. So yeah, I hope I managed to clear up some possible confusion regarding the free plugins. This is the oldest one, this one I published back in 2017 and these two are new ones in 2020 uh, summer were they were published in summer 2020. So yeah, this is all for today. I hope you uh, learned something from this video. If you have further questions, let me know and I will respond. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe, it is really appreciated. Have a nice time, stay safe, bye bye.